So let's start with the series of link videos. Link is short for language integrated query, which is a fancy way of doing queries or maybe even SQL like stuff in C sharp. But but don't stress it. Uh, we need something to query. So I think the simplest thing we can get is um, an array of numbers. So I'm going to int array, new array, close that up. And I'm just going to hit the keyboard here kind of randomly. See if we can generate something interesting. Okay, that should be good enough. All right. So now we have. Oh, we call the number. That's it's numbers, not not just one number. It's several numbers. Um, format that a little bit. I hit Control K and then D uh, to get that formatting to work. Uh, and then I'm going to drop a using up here. Don't ask quite why we're dropping this. We'll we'll see it in a minute, maybe in a future video. But for now, I'm just going to do System dot link, and I'm going to say var result gets from n in numbers where n less than 5 select n okay now this hopefully this doesn't scare you too much it's it's very different from the type of c sharp you're probably used to writing i mean our c sharp we've done before is parentheses and method calls and dots and everything's kind of connected and then all of a sudden i don't have anything dotting and i don't have any parentheses it's just this freeform syntax if you're used to sql at all it looks very much like sql if you're not used to sql don't stress it you'll learn a little bit about it as we go along or you can look at the sql playlist i have in my uh, youtube channel either way it's 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 different all right so i'm gonna for each here and hopefully it's not too unintuitive, or maybe it, hopefully it is intuitive. What's going on here? I'm just saying, hey, for every n in numbers, give me the ones where n's less than five. So I'm going to say in i for each in i in result console write line i. All right. Now, now before I run this, you can visually kind of inspect what the result's going to be. Is two less than five? Yes. Four less than five? Yes. Eight? No. One? Yes. Nine? So on and so forth. So let's. Let's uh, let's run this. Here we go. Two four. Let me bring it down so we can see this. Two four one two zero three four two. Yep, that's what it looks like. I got a bunch of small numbers. I don't have very many big numbers in our set. Anyway, so that's kind of cool. Um, let's let's play with this a little bit. We don't we don't have to do numbers. We could do characters. You know, character array chars gets new array. Um, C P O that kind of thing, and so on and so forth. And I, I can make a, I could make a query that uh, returns all the vowels. So I'm going to say a uh, var vowels. Is that how you spell vowels? Let me. Uh, I have to go Google. This. And of course, I can't spell vowels. So let's let's spell it right. Vowels. Var vowels. Uh, gets. I'm gonna get rid of this for each loop down here. I'm gonna say var vowels gets from a letter in chars where. Oh, this could get kind of ugly, but I could say, yeah, let's just do it ugly. Letter equals. There's better ways of doing this, but I'm just gonna do it the hard way. Letter equals a uh, or letter equals i or letter equals. Oh, or <laughs> I'm just kind of cheating here so the video goes a little faster. Uh, select letter. All right, so we get to, oh, fine, I'll just do it. Where is A or letter, ladder, letter, A, E, or let's do this on new line here, or letter equals A, E, I, or O, or letter, Equals now my formatting is all terrible. You, all right. There's all the vowels. Oh, what's wrong now? It's not liking my query here. What? I missed something. Oh, I got two pipes. I got a pipe a set of pipes there and a set of pipes there. Okay, where the letters of vowel, select that letter. All right. And since I did all that work, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna throw a. Let's throw a P in here. Oh, I have a P already. Let's do a T, and then let's do an I. All right. So now down here, I'm gonna say uh, for each char C. In vowels, uh, console right line C. Uh, what's a complaining here? Oh, okay, this quickly went away. All right, run it. Here we go. We got O and I, which are the only vowels in here. Okay, so this is this is the basic 
syntax of a link query, that at least the comprehension of the syntax. I've noticed a lot of developers kind of shy away from this. We'll see in future videos how to do that. But well, that's kind of the gist. You can write these simple little queries that do things and and uh, have a data set here. Uh, numbers aren't very interesting. Maybe letters aren't. Uh, actual data against the database would be interesting or some XML. So we'll, we'll explore all that and see all that in the future video.